Okay, guys, another quick update on my chickens. These are all for sale, and they're only £5 each. And they're nearly at point of lay. There's two cockles in there, but they've lived together since birth, so they're quite happy. These will lay the bluey green eggs. And they're all petrified of the camera because it's starting to get dark out here. Okay. Um, and the slight adaption as well on their feeder. It's a homemade bottle feeder with the cutout strapped to it. And at the moment they're using a bunny bottle for their water. Again same principle as poultry nipples and they seem quite happy with that they do have spare water there and I will keep an eye on them and then back into the main shed and they should all be roosting by now and there they are all quite happy and She's still sitting on some eggs. That's okay. And basically my breeding stock is Rhode Island Red. Pekings. That's my Peking boy. I've got a, cook a cookie, I believe they call it. Or a cuckoo. Um, I think the Americans would call that a barred rock. With the colours. I've got a bluebell, but you can really see her. There she goes. Bluebell with the Darth Vader type face. I have, I can't even think what the name of that one is. That's right, she's a Aracuna type. And you can tell that by her puffy cheeks. Then you've got like a standard leghorn type. Another peeking at the back with Jubilee colors. A big buff opening. And obviously back to my boys. I won't upset them anyway because they're ready for bed. I've got a cage down there for her and her babies. She will then go in there. And it's under their, their ramp, their perches. Um, still got all my food up there. And egg boxes, obviously. Um, and my little brooder at the back there. Nothing's in that, that's just for storage. Same as that one. And I've just got bits everywhere. I use my little net to catch the um, the quail because they do tend to fly, like I say, as soon as I go in there. So I will leave yeah, that's not focusing. So yeah, that's really my setup. I got my two breeding pens there. Well, I just keep them to grow out. I've got my quail pen, and it literally sits on top of the chicken run, so the chickens have got um, shade in the sunlight because the roof. There's some linoleum there, uh, lino if you're English, um, just covering up to give them a bit of extra shade because it has been hot. The guttering, obviously, goes down and refills their water. Got some plants that they can peck at, some lettuce that they can peck at. And my, I suppose it's a stud shed where you put, you know, a couple of breeding chickens so that you can have specific eggs rather than just, you know, mix and match. But he's another cockerel. It's just an adapted, old chicken coop that was supposed to be for 10 chickens it's far too small which is why i got the shed <laughs> water bowl ready for wild birds as well um so yeah and i just put it on built a little pallet table type thing to keep it away from the vermin the rats so yeah we'll see how they go tonight and that's my setup